So there are several causes of developing a red swollen eyelid. Some are minor and resolved easily with care, while others are very serious and need a doctor's attention right away. So let's break down what causes swollen eyelids and how to get rid of them. Let's take a look. Hey eyes and shine, Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show, helping you learn everything about the eyes and keeping them healthy. Now because of potential urgency in case somebody's watching this video with a red swollen eyelid, let's first go over the more medically serious causes first. So if you have a swollen eyelid that is warm, it is painful, it is red, uh, the eyeball is red, perhaps your vision seems off, like your vision is blurry, you're seeing double, or maybe colors just don't seem right in one eye. Maybe you looked in the mirror and you noticed that one of your pupils is larger on one side than the other, or maybe your eyes hurt when you try to look left and right, up and down, or maybe the eye that's swollen looks like it's almost bulging forward, like it's gonna pop out. Or maybe you happen to have a fever with all of these symptoms, these are all things your doctor's gonna be seriously looking for when they're concerned about what is called an orbital cellulitis. An orbital cellulitis is when you have an infection that gets behind a thin layer of tissue that surrounds the eye called the septum. And this type of infection is pretty emergent because it usually is aggressive, it can lead to vision loss, and it can even spread behind and get to the cavernous sinus. So if you think you have these symptoms, especially any pain with eye movement, maybe they, again the eye is proptotic and is pushing out, things like that, then definitely contact your eye doctor to get seen because uh, oftentimes in these cases we have to refer patients out to like a hospital to not only get a CT scan of their eyes and their orbits, but also uh, because they need IV antibiotics. So again, that one's definitely a little bit more serious and you wanna know about those symptoms. But sometimes even if you do have a swollen eyelid that is red, a little warm and tender, but it doesn't have any of the neurological problems like the eye muscles, uh, aren't painful when you're looking left and right, there's no restriction, and you don't have like proptosis where the eyes bulging outward, fever, those sort of things, then oftentimes it can just be a preceptal cellulitis where the infection hasn't gotten behind the septum yet. But still in these cases, we wanna treat that infection before it potentially gets worse. So we often prescribe pretty strong oral antibiotics or sometimes in conjunction with topical antibiotics to again, help that resolve as quickly as possible. But in these cases, don't leave it up to chance. Definitely see a doctor and get medication. The next more serious cause would be that of thyroid disease or Graves disease. I did a video going more in depth on this, but thyroid disease can cause a swelling of the eye muscles around the eye, and that causes the eyes to then kind of bulge outward away from you. Again, we call that proptosis. And although it often affects both eyes, can affect just one eye. And with this inflammation, we often see inflamed eyelids as well. And so uh, if somebody does have concern about proptosis, double vision, uh, any of these swollen eyelid things, again, definitely see an eye doctor so they can get tested for the thyroid levels and then get necessary treatment. The next most serious one I would say is that of shingles. Shingles is another name for the herpes zoster virus. And if you've ever had chicken pox as a kid like I did, then this is again just kind of more the adult expression of chicken pox. It often presents as this nasty rash on different parts of your body, but it can travel down the fifth cranial nerve, which gets to your eyelid as well as the eyeball itself. And it usually results in not just like swelling, but redness and very painful. And if shingles does hit the eye, it can lead to serious inflammation, scarring, and even blindness for some people. So again, this is one where even if you see a family doctor and they start treating you for shingles, it's still good to consult with an eye doctor so that they can make sure it's not hitting the eye. Because usually we not just put people on oral antivirals, but usually uh, steroid medications to calm down any inflammation that's hitting the eye or the eyelids. Also in these cases, sometimes pain medication is needed because these types of rashes can be extremely painful. It happens to be one of the number one leading causes of suicide amongst the elderly. Now, a swollen eyelid could also be caused by a sty. Other medical terms for these include what is called a chalazion or a hordeolum. This is actually quite common, but uh, the difference between these two, a sty is more of a red, painful bump along the eyelid margin. These are true infections of one of the glands along the eyelid. Uh, they usually, again, are a little bit more painful, and if you touch it, they may even come to like a white head and express pus. 
where if you have more of just like a hard lump nodule, either bottom or top eyelid, but it's not painful, Again, it's just like a hard nodule, like a marble is underneath your lid or something. That is what we call a chalazion. It's more of just a benign blockage of oil trapped within the eyelid. In the case of a hordeolum, where again, it's red, it's painful, and maybe leaking pus, an infection, you do want to get an antibiotic. Oftentimes, they do resolve on their own in just a matter of one to two weeks, along with using warm compresses, just getting heat held to that eyelid for about 10 to 15 minutes at a time. I do have other videos going more in depth on how to do that, uh, and I'll put videos about doing warm compresses in the description below if you wanna learn how, kind of the better techniques and tips on how to help with that. But again, if somebody just has a chalazion, that hard nodule under the eyelid, oftentimes just doing warm compresses, again, about four times a day, and giving it some time, it usually does resolve on its own. However, uh, oral antibiotics, uh, although they don't really help resolve chalazians, they may prevent future ones from coming. So some eye doctors will prescribe antibiotics for a chalazian. Otherwise, if it doesn't resolve on its own, there are some surgical techniques to excise and remove all the blockage, or they can give an injection of a steroid that works about 93% of the time. Next up is that of allergies and contact dermatitis. And I think this would probably be the, probably I think would be the number one cause of most people's uh, swollen eyelids. Allergic reactions cause a lot of inflammation and swelling of the eyelid lids, largely because it pulls a lot of fluid into those tissues. This can come from seasonal allergies in the spring and fall, such as maybe ragweed and pollen, or it could be uh, like myself. I go into a like a dark, dusty, uh, moldy basement, I have an allergic reaction. And with this, you usually also experience runny eyes and itchy eyes, along with maybe sinus congestion, wheezing, difficulty breathing. And then oftentimes what I see in the clinic are people who have contact dermatitis. This is where they touch the skin around their eyelids with, with some substance, and then they have a harsh allergic reaction to it. And this usually is a very well read, like demarcated area around the eyelid. It then swells up and it feels dry and itchy. Some common culprits of contact dermatitis are like new makeup medications, new facial creams, even some people just changing their daily soap, or perhaps they just touched something somewhere and then happened to rub their eyes and then they had an allergic reaction to it. And oftentimes if it affects both eyes, they kind of have like this raccoon eye appearance, but it's more red instead of black like a raccoon. But either way, both of these are basically allergic reactions. So you one, want to get rid of whatever's causing the allergy. And then two, you want to settle down the histamine response. So for people who just have kind of the itchy irritation, like with seasonal allergies, then over-the-counter eye drops such as uh, Patidae or Lasticaf, which are available, uh, they're fantastic at helping with those symptoms. Otherwise, for people with true like eyelid swelling because of this, oftentimes just using oral antihistamines like Benadryl does a great job of getting fluids to kind of resorb out of those tissues. And then oftentimes calms down a lot of the swelling. Also just using a cold wash rag held to the eyelid will get a lot of that swelling to come down. Otherwise doctors will prescribe steroid creams for things like contact dermatitis. However, I don't recommend going to the store and buying a steroid cream and using it on your own without doctor supervision because steroids can cause an increase in your eye pressure leading to potential glaucoma which can be blinding. But even if somebody does get medications for this, if they don't get rid of the allergens, uh, symptoms may never stop. Now, another cause of swollen eyelids is that of blepharitis, which is more of a buildup of skin oils and bacteria that build up along the lashes. And then people have almost a uh, kind of an allergic reaction to the presence of those microorganisms and the toxins. This usually shows up more for people who just produce different oils on their face or they just don't have very good eyelid hygiene. So in fact, just cleaning your eyelids and eyelashes on a regular basis is really helpful to prevent this. Uh, certainly cleaning off makeup before going to bed, uh, not reusing makeup for months and months and months. And if you haven't seen my other videos on blepharitis and different kind of treatment tips to take care of this, there's different eyelid wipes and eyelid wash shampoo specifically for this. Otherwise, another common cause of having a swollen or puffy eyelid is that of having pink eye or conjunctivitis. Uh, usually the eye does also have a red pink appearance on the white part of the eye, but 
I think the biggest misconception people have is a lot of people think, oh, it's because it's caused by a bacteria. And in fact, most of the time, uh, pink eye is not caused by a bacteria, it's caused by a virus. And in cases of viral pink eye, we really don't have any treatments and antibiotic really doesn't help at all. Some doctors offer betadine washes in the clinic, but may not always be helpful. But ultimately, if you do have a red irritated eye, definitely want to see the doctor to get that checked out. Hey, I hope you found this video helpful. If you found value in it, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you're new. Also, leave us a comment of which part of this video you thought was the best or you at least learned something cool and new. Otherwise, if you want to learn more of how to get rid of like dark circles or under eye bags or even a twitching eyelid, things like that, check out our video series going on over here. Otherwise, again, Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show. Keep an eye on it. We'll see you in the next one.